So the baby um, was with Shaq on a podcast, and he said a rapper had called him and said, "Yo, did you see the Drake and um, uh, Kendrick and all that beef going off, man? Yo, we should do something like that." And that's what the baby said on on the pod. And he's like, yo, we should do something like that. We get views. Somebody down below, they said it was Jordan Lucas. I have no idea who it was. I can't even Jordan Lucas wouldn't have to do that. No, no, no. He said it was a lyricist rapper. But I don't, I don't know who it could be, right? He didn't He didn't drop the name. And I'm just sitting here like, uh, dude, are some of these actually curated where they actually make beef happen? So they could, because at the end of the day, it's entertainment. Oh, no, definitely. Because Ye even said that back in the day. He was like, we need to beef and go through it. Like, yeah. Like, it, like it's yeah. not real. But then when you look at, like, it's, okay, listen, drill rap, you know it's real because these guys crash out. Dummies. Well, and they, they're, they're young they're, crash They're out. rapping what, what they yeah, do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they kill us. They kill us. But when you look at these <laughs> bigger guys. Yo, man, he looked me in my eyes. He died slowly. <laughs> yeah. Like, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, he's a killer. Look at him. He don't care. He can't even read. <laughs> but uh, He know words, though. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, when you got, like, people like Drake, Kendrick, that actually have, a, like, people depend on them to, like, you know, they got to feed people. They got mouths to feed. They got businesses behind them corporations i think that's a lot different because you got people behind you that are either uh goes writing for you you got you got a team and your team is telling you hey this is what we should do your team is making your moves like all you got to do is go behind the booth rap like yeah, so we're gonna orchestrate everything you just okay yeah so literally they, puppet master like you the puppet we 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 gonna make bread we gonna make bread so do you think um that some of this other beef is also curated as well or is the baby just saying this because it could be because hey, he could just that, be saying that it to get some why, attention. That could be why J J Cole apologized. He was like, I don't even, want, I don't even want to really be in this because it's fake. Because they told me like, uh, if you do this, your album sales are gonna go up. So so he tried it and then he felt just sick about it. It was like, ah, uh, that was like, yo, corny. this is fake. Or what if in the long run it does come out like, yo, this is uh, like, yo, that beef between Kendrick and Drake was fake. And J. Cole was in it and it and in the long run it's gonna like shine a light on J. Cole to be like, yo, he kept it real and he left because of this. Didn't expose his brothers, but his brothers was being fake at the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, I'm saying that's why like hearing that is kinda like maybe that's why he tapped up. Yeah, he was like, Yo, this isn't for me. Yeah, because like, this is corny. This and is it, fake. This and is it, not not real. Yeah, and he's calling it the fall off and because he know he's gonna get slack and flack from it. But I don't think J. Cole would do something purposely to ruin his own career. But he knows in the long run, yo, I'm I'm gonna walk out on top and everybody's gonna be like, yo, dog, like J. Cole's a real one. You know what I mean? Yeah, like when it all come out that <coughs> Drake all, the, all, all, all of this is just acting. Oh yeah. It's just like WWE. Um It, it is entertainment. It, so. it is entertainment and what is what what is the purpose of all entertainment? To make money. To make money at any cost. When you uh, and I uh, I even heard like, you know, people speculate the NFL being fake. And how they all share their money, they're capped out, and they make they pull their money together. Bro, the and they owners, split it. oh my god, bro, the owners call each other and know yeah. and know each other and talk to each other. They laugh about owning yeah. a team of fifty three black men that they can just send to go yeah. <laughs> destroy each other. Like, yeah. bro, yeah, they know. That but that's man. what I'm saying. But just like that, like because the owner pays uh, the commissioners <laughs> exactly. Like Roger gets paid by the owners. So is it all scripted? And you know, uh, I wouldn't say no, no, no. Like I'm talking about, I'm just talking about like uh, the NFL. I'm not talking about college because I know college. You know, you gotta earn your way college up. College the only thing. I, like college sports, the only sports I bet on, bro. Yeah, like college sports is is real. Uh, but then when you get up to the higher ups, because that money is so large that it's like, okay, these rich guys just want to generate money, and obviously you're gonna have certain teams that are gonna be butt because they just don't have the capital. They, they're they're not in the right market. They're not in the right market. They can't even get the players that yeah. Could, yeah. could could get them through to a chip. Yeah. So a lot of people think and they say, yo, the NFL is fake. Um, now, like if you look, just like some clips, it does it does looks not that it's scripted, but they're gonna say, hey, what team or what matchups do we want that's gonna generate the most money? The most money. Yeah. Like and, and that's just like kind of what it is. Oh, because I'll be looking, I'll be like, I'm like I'm a Niners fan. Yeah, and I swear I'd be like, man, do we do we play the Packers like four times a year? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't watch. Uh, NFL well, it's like just because you know the Packers is one of those teams that has like you know a loyal fan fan base yeah. that spend money and they travel. Yeah, Niners got a fan base that's loyal, spend money, travel. Damn. And so it's just like, whoa, like they literally be putting people against each other that they know is just going to generate they're gonna the most get money. Viewed. I mean, but uh, like that's just like media in general, entertainment. It's all entertainment, man. At the end of the day, and there's some rich dude. 
that's trying to make, generate the most amount of money, TV deals. Look, and, it ain't one uh, dude. <clears throat> it's it's all of them. Well, not 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 one dude or the. Yeah, I guess. No, all I'm talking of them. even for the entertainment industry. Like all of them are in contact with each other. Like they can't make a move. Yeah. Without the other person knowing the move that they're gonna do, yeah, because it's everyone's money. Like it's it is everyone's money that's gonna be affected by one rich rich person's choice. Exactly. Does. So they all have to be in contact with each other. They have to consult each other and say like this is gonna happen or this is gonna happen. Like like that's how the economy works. Oh, says um, which calls for thirty four percent of each team's ticket revenue to go to a general pool to be shared equally. Yeah, I know. All yeah. the owners literally yeah. are in communication so, with each other. So if they're all sharing money, and they probably be, and they probably are like, all right, so who want to win this year? Which city ain't won in a while? Yeah. So <laughs> I mean, they're phew, damn man. It's, it's like we it's, really, we really don't know. We'll never know if it's uh, scripted, if it's they're actually playing, or if they're telling the refs, hey, skew the game a little bit, help this team out, make it better. You know, like don't let the game get away. Keep it close. Betting then, lines. Then you got to think about Vegas. There's someone in Vegas that's got to pick up the phone. Hey, this is too is too too many people betting on this. Uh, yeah. We can't afford to pay this out. So yeah, you want a bigger cut? Make yeah, <laughs> make this happen. Yeah, make this happen, right. big fella. And I do believe at the end of the day, that's what it is. Because Vegas, you don't want Vegas to lose. Vegas can't lose no money, bro. They got to have people coming back. Damn man, it, it is really sick if you think about it. Like there are guys like. Plotting on your downfall, like they want you to lose, bro. Yeah, and they they want to win. They literally watch what you pick and pick the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, all right, eighty percent just better on this. Twenty percent winning today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Let's see what else. 